Okay, so, uh, we've checked with Pontita. I guess now we have to go check with Belchior. Uh, I, I stopped in the middle. Usually I stop after the, uh, the big battles, but for this one I was just like, I'm just so tired. I love this game, but, uh, the magic wears off sometimes when it's just like, puzzle, hunt, uh, chef time, and competition repeat. I was really hoping there was gonna be more exploration. Any progress on another cure? I may be on to something, but it requires a test subject. Interested in volunteering? Anything to help. Excellent. Begin by reducing these items to their purest elements. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got a poison thing. We'll deal with that in a bit. Deal with this first. I... Don't want to touch any of the... Contaminated ingredients yet, for obvious reasons. Now we've got a. Whoa! Okay, don't let poison touch bone! That's an interesting one. Or no, don't move poison. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, that's... Probably... Yeah, poison is volatile. Okay. So let's add the venom gland here. And rotate this down. So that didn't work the way I wanted it to. In fact, I'm not entirely... I was... Oh, jeez. This one's rough. Yeah, the three poisons eliminate each other. Okay, uh, we gotta... We gotta reset this one. I did it wrong. Okay. So... There we go. Let's get the green out of here. It has nobody, no business in this entire lineup. So we gotta get rid of the poison. The thing is, the moment we combo the poison, we have to get it together with the fire. Which is a problem. There we go. Got it. Okay, so the fire's been comboed. All we need at this point is the, um... The bone to combo with the blue. Yeah, the time element on this one got me a little bit. Because you have to time the poison, but you have to actually make the rest of the combo while you're going, going with it. Okay. So that's good, at least. So that all combos together. Why did I do that? No, this is fine. No, it's not. Shoot. Fell down down on me. Okay. So this is good. So that's good. And this is good. Okay. So that combos all that together. Rotate this around. This is good. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, no problems. Was worried for a moment. This is, uh... All the broken ones are kind of rough. But we're good. I, I'm repeating myself, but... Exquisite. Puzzles. Now, take a bite. Did it work? You do look healthier. There's a bit of a glow. Wait, something's happening. Give us every detail. I feel... Oh, no, no, that's not healing anybody. 
That rules out the whisk root. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Just a little queasy. <laughs> Okay, so we've done that. Now we go challenge somebody who... And nobody out there, so I guess we either go back to... Somebody over here. I'm... Oh, it's this lady. Looking for something? Lose something? Something I'm about to get back. We'll see. Riv told me you're a bully. I'm here to put a stop to that. Seriously, you steal from me and then you accuse me of bullying? Are you going to whine or fight? I'd prefer to I'd I prefer to avoid the fight. Not gonna happen. Okay. Uh so we had homing we have homing flames. No, we wanna probably keep with this. He's not gonna want a fire dish this time around, so let's just go with this. Uh Try let's just continue, me. we'll see what happens. Hunt with Thorn. Uh was there a hunt? Shit. Okay, well I can I can always go back to the main menu. I didn't I didn't see Hunt with Thorn. Ah. Okay, there we go. Main menu. Tis good for Cause we'd already uh we've already we had already done some stuff. So yeah, nothing there. Oh no. I guess we did have a hunt. Okay. Back again, no matter. I've been meaning to ask you, how did you know so much about the Dark Realm? A question for another time, preferably far from now. My wife is dying from Dark Realm fever. I deserve an answer, Thorn. You will tell no one who gave you this information. Swear your oath in monster blood. Deal. Okay, so just hunt any monster. Now, we did establish that, uh... We did establish that there's no point in, uh... In being discerning here. You do not actually get paid more. Which is a bit of a shame, but whatever. That homing fire thing is really effective. That up knee is also really effective. Just generally, uh... I... I like... I like Mina. Thrash is just more effective. Oh. Wow. It left? I was not expecting it to, uh... To just go zooming off into the future. Well, that's fine. Yeah, just more or less go fight everything. Yeah, I, I really wish this game had proper adventure maps. It would be so much cooler if you were, like, exploring a dungeon and bringing back rare and rare ingredients every single time. Oh, well. Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll do that for the sequel. That would be nice. You must never share what I'm about to tell you. I swear... The Dark Realm is a result of the Brigade's hubris. How could we have known? That's, uh, not funny. No, it isn't. Our sorcerers believed they could create multi-purpose portals. Their intentions were good. A way to unite our lands. Bring prosperity to our people. But the portal fractured. What coalesced from the destruction was a chaotic mirror realm. The Dark Realm. Does the committee know? Do they know? They're the ones who deem it forbidden. Content to shove it under the rug. I never knew. This world isn't all dumplings and bonbons. The Brigade remains an honorable organization, but a flawed one. That is enough for today. And remember, not a word. Wonder you killed a being of fire with fire. How? Uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, I don't think anything has elemental re resistances, and if it did, this game would get really unbalanced really, really fast. Like, it would be so cool if they actually made, like, uh, a more open-ended one, like, uh, with maybe proper cu character customization or something like that. Um, 
and just let you uh let you really go adventuring. I don't know. I just want to play this game. Oh, you know what? I was actually thinking about this. Um I was actually thinking about this last night when I was going to bed. Um it would be so cool if the character instead of having like a, a leveling system or whatever, you had like a a stomach. Um uh, a stomach uh like slot that is more or less your talent tree and uh maybe it like goes away so like say say if you go dungeoneering your stomach slot slowly empties out you know you need that fuel to go but it's also your traits so depending on what you've cooked and eaten you get like stat buffs so like better at magic better at physical better at healing and stuff like that and you know maybe there is actually like a permanent um perk system on top of it all um, but so you're depleting that stomach, uh, that, that, like, stomach meter, uh, and your buffs. So by the end of, by the end of the dungeon, you might be kind of weak, but maybe you can bring some snacks with you or cook, cook on the go. Um, and then whatever you grabbed while you're out, you know, running the dungeon, you bring back and you cook, and that's your next set of buffs for the next time around. Uh, and you more or less just get deeper and deeper, bringing back better and better ingredients. And, you know, maybe there would be quests, hunts, uh, puzzles, and stuff like this. Uh, just because, oh, that would be so satisfying. It sounds weird. It does sound weird. I'm just thinking of a way that would involve, like, more adventuring without, like, getting too far away from this game. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so we've already talked to them. We've already done the hunts. Okay, and I've already got everything that I could possibly need. Ah, tis good fortune we meet here again. As before, thou must compete under the resplendent eye of Paz the Magnificent. But first, twould be mine pleasure to introduce today's champions. The first being this rather disagreeable gentleman and loser of various hearts, Thrush the Mighty. Hey, you better watch it. <clears throat> Second in name, but most assuredly not in spirit. It is mine pleasure, most high, to present Lutter the Silver-Tongued. Thy flattery is well received. Wait, weren't you talking normally before? Dorothy, I prithee, what wouldst thou ask of our competitors? Pardon my shilly-shallying, O oh good thane, but I cannot choose betwixt two flavors. Verily, I wouldst enjoy a spot of fire and earth. Blended in harmony. On this morrow most fine, mine taste turns to a fire-filled dish. And now, without further delay, and with Dorothy's glowing presence beside me, I shall reveal our theme ingredient post-haste. Lapazard! Okay. I really wish I could actually change my loadout after they they tell me what I need. Okay, so it's fire and earth, which makes this a little bit harder, but also maybe a little bit easier. So we're going to switch out the regular slow cooker with the awesome slow cooker. And then keep the crystallizer, because the crystallizer is like the easiest thing ever. Nice part is I can just skip past all the dialogue. Try me. Yeah, time to reload and get the right item. Yep. I, all they need to do is as soon as they tell you, here's what your task is, here's where you're going, bam, done. That's all I need. This plot is not needed, but it's good. Honestly, the plot is what makes this game. The match three, the combat and whatever, they're good, but they're just a little bit light uh, for what I want want them to be. Okay, so we're going to go hunt us a lapizard. 
and some of that fire fruit. Unfortunately, we don't have that really OP. Um, we don't have that really OP thing to work with. Okay, Lapizard legs. Which is exactly what I needed. I could have actually gone with the uh, the regular slow cooker now that I'm thinking about it. Oh. Uh, you know, I just realized there might be a better way of doing this. Do I do it? Okay. I'm actually, we're gonna exit one more time. I just realized there's an even better and easier way to do this. Instead of being a dumb, uh, dumb bunny. Let's continue. I hate to keep restarting, but let's challenge her. Okay, so we're gonna go back. We don't want the earth and fire pan. We just want the regular slow cooker and the orcish fire oven. We just want two slow cookers here. The duplicator is nice, but try me. This is all I need. Okay, and now I can mash through the dialogue and go kick ass, because the Lapizard already gives us the uh, the fire in the earth. So all I need to do is just chuck in a, a Lapizard bit and then just a bunch of fire fruit. Don't... This is actually really, really easy. Don't think you can do earth if you choose the fire slow cooker only. You're right, but I have to cook two dishes, which makes this so much easier. Okay. Let's see, grab that. So Lapizard back is what we need, actually. Remember, you need fire and earth balance. Oh, that's like the, that's the easiest thing in the universe. We just need Lapizard tails. I mean, really, we just need Lapizard anything. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go grab a uh, fire fruit. Cause here's the thing. Don't forget the fire only dot uh dish you can just have sauce. You're right. I do. So we have Lapizard Tail. Lapizard Tail. Uh Lapizard back. And for this one, we have lantern fruit. All right, let's go fight some more lap Lapizards. This is actually, I think, going to be the easiest match I've ever done in this game. And I've had some, like, really easy ones. I hate those crabs. There's... Okay, there's, that's what I was looking for. So I will have to go get another uh, Lapizard shot. We don't care about any of those. Okay, it's it's out of my way. Yeah, the the real secret here is fire fruit and lapizard legs. Cuz yeah, we've also got the sauce. Which makes it a lot easier. Okay, grab the lantern fruits. You know, in retrospect, I didn't even need the cutting board. Still don't need the cutting board. Okay, now I can stir this. So we're gonna put the lapisard legs there. The other lantern fruits here. More lantern fruits there. Come here. Rotate that. Thrash is hot sauce. Pure fire. Okay. Now we have... Lapizard legs. Okay. So I'm just gonna do Thrash's hot sauce. That'll get that. It's currently perfectly even. So I have one Lapizard leg. I really wish I could actually just cut it, uh, cut it apart properly. But this is fine. Pick up, drop there, and now I just have to go get a Lapizard back. Yeah, we do have a Lapizard right here. 
which is perfect. Okay. And you know what? I'll take it. Lapizard back would be a little bit easier, but I can just cut off the legs. And now the waiting game begins. Uh, there's a little bit of management I can do here. My deal? Why are you so determined to keep them? That's none of your business. What's that? I think your accent is slipping. Thou must be hearing things. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Because this isn't working so hot. I'm just going to let that go. We're going to switch them for a bit. Because here's the thing. The one on the left is cooking really slowly. If I can just pre-upgrade all of the fire ones really fast, uh, it'll work. And worst comes to worst, it screws up the ratio when we get yelled at for that. But this will this is faster. So I would I would rather do this, and maybe screw up the uh, the proper division. than anything else. Cuz yeah, as soon as as soon as all of the uh the fire ones are done, we'll just switch them out. I wonder what Twitch integration would look like in a game like this. Probably badly. It probably would not go great. Yeah, I probably didn't need the uh cutting board for this. Okay, after this one, we'll get this out of the way, and then we can switch it back to green upgrades. Okay, wait for the fire one. Yeah, so it's not going to get fully upgraded, but that's okay. Alright, now it's the waiting game. Well, I guess I could cook another dish. Hello, would you like, would you like my goo ball? I have goo ball. Yeah, we'll have a couple of T3. I'm going to get yelled at for it, but I'm going to get so many points that who gives, who gives a dang doodly. See, really all I want is the, uh, is a green version of the, uh, fire oven. Like, how awesome would it be if I had all three fire ovens? We just have to cycle our dishes clockwise. Yeah, I could always cut out the extra fire. Uh, it wouldn't be worth it, though. It's better that I keep those T3 fires and get yelled at. Um, than otherwise. Yeah, I guess the true way to do this would be to... Uh, or the, the better way to do this... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any more than this. Um, the better way to do this would just be to be, to bring like a regular pan. Come on. There we go. Quickly now, Dorothy. Let us make haste and eat before our meals cool. I've never tasted something so divine. Lupier meat pies. Garnished with earthen sauce and slime eggs melange. Thy dish breft of lapizard? What cheek thou hast? Tis the fury of fire and beauty of earth married in one radiant dish. Brava! Hey, Now mine soul travels to the realm of spirits. I bid thee all adieu. Oh, tis but a jest, though... There is poison in my dish, for true. And that's part of the reason why I'm not too worried. Okay. A dutiful effort, but I prefer mine flavors body and unbashed, unabashed. Yeah, see, I don't get a penalty for not mixing them properly. Uh, however, I don't have to worry about losing because I don't have the thing. Okay, anyway, so it's the... It's the stuff. Yeah, that extra 50 from just having four fire gems in there is great. Cragmore and chips. Served with candle gourd and slime eggs assortment. 
A shame. Twas many moons ago that mine belly feasted on a lapizard, and mine, mine did dost look forward to thine dish. Why is everybody stupid in this game? Ah, uh, tis just the fire mine heart did crave. Tis mine honor to pronounce thine dish a true masterpiece. Marvelous. Lantern fruit rellenos, with a side of lapizard legs and thrashes hot sauce medley. Mine taste buds delight in the fiery dish. The fire in this dish demonstrates a keen understanding of the power of spice. Well done. And 500 points. Bam. <sighs> Twould seem we've lost fairly. Lotta, it is time you gave our competitor his due. But boss, he said we'd lose our paycheck if the goods weren't delivered. Scandal. Pray tell, Lotta, wouldst thou defy mine orders and speak as a common knave? I prithee, Thane. How can we put food on thine table if we give the heart to this orc? We shall manage, as have we always. <laughs> Here you are, Sir Thrash. You mentioned a paycheck. Who hired you? Why do they want my hearts? T'would be dishonorable to break faith with our employer. But stealing's fine? <laughs> Some moral code. Heart of Water of the three Yoku hearts is cool to the touch. I really do hope that we get the other, like, two other crockpots. To match the orcs, because it would be magic. How's it? Okay. Hmm. This vase makes me think of Mina. I hope she's doing better than I am. Two out of three. Where could the last one be? Thrash, may I enter? Yeah, come on in. It's about the remedies Belkior and I have been working on. Did one of them hold up? No, and I'm afraid none of them will. Belkior says we must keep trying, but I've used the entirety of my medicinal knowledge and still cannot produce a cure. I... I failed. Now, when you need me most, my expertise is meaningless. Kieran, I've had days to find the bandit, and only two hearts to show for it. You've done more than I could ever ask. Failure is the absence of progress. You have learned more about your opponent every day. That is significant. I wish I could say the same. I couldn't be prouder to call you my friend. You've worked non-stop since I told you about Ardia. Have you even slept? Have you? Well, I... not much. Then let's remedy that, for both of our sakes. I am certain you could use a full night's sleep. Uh, you're probably right. Are you going to be okay? Yes. And yourself? I hope so. Kieran was right. I do feel better. Well, no letters or anything to interact with. How may I be of service? Good day. How is your wife? Not any better, unfortunately. Wait. I didn't mention she was sick to you. You know, our mayor is always open on our desks in the morning. Ho ho, it's a service I'm happy to provide. This guy's reading all our mail. Good morning. I have some news for you, or what I hope is news. A breakthrough? Of a kind. I've been racking my brain for some clue as to who might have hired those bandits. And I have a hypothesis. I had an associate back at Oris Academia. Rixel. He was talented, but lacking in empathy. He became very angry at the Brigade's decision to fund me out of university, and attempted to sabotage my efforts. You think he hired the bandits to steal your research? Perhaps. He too became a member of the Brigade's research corps, but you wouldn't know it from his demeanor. Do you know where I can find him? No. 
He hasn't reported to his station in several days. He may believe he's stolen a vital piece of the Ambrosia Project. The codger. I'll see if I can find anything else about him. Thanks, Belkir. But first, puzzles! Hey, I know you're both really busy, but I have a favor to ask. Ask away! I only have one heart left to find, and it's made of fire. The last time I held it, my hands got burned pretty badly. Ah, say no more. We can assist you in creating a dish to increase your fire resistance. <laughs> huh. Well, I, uh... This one's kind of on the nose. Let me see. Is this what I... Yeah. Oh. It's pretty much just... Hot sauce aplenty. You want anything? Hot sauce? Sure. Gotcha. Hot sauce? Yep. That's, that's what I got. Anything else? No. Hot sauce! Hot sauce! <laughs> Oh boy. I really, I actually really wish that uh, each character had different cooking styles uh, and like different things to cook with. I got really excited when we had the, uh, the Orgish Hot Pot. Oh! Um, dang. Why was that one easier than the last one? Wait, I'm really confused about this timing. Because this one was so much easier to pace. What? I, okay. Whoa, I feel warm. Don't be alarmed, it's merely the dish. Take caution, though. It will only provide the intended effect for 24 hours. You'll need- Then, I'd better start searching. Thanks, guys! Sorry about that. Sometimes I- I don't know. Blame my fat thumbs. Hey, uh, 